before we start the video let's go ahead and let's all get on the same energy wave okay so we're gonna do deep breaths in and deep breaths out listen let me tell you something with the whole like world going upside down i felt like this video was definitely needed and you know i just want us all to just take a breather take a back step and really just feel ourselves feel the energy just like come to a very calm point and a very like, open mind about the whole idea of stress and what it means to you, what it means to me, and let's just go ahead and start the video. What's going on YouTube? It is your girl here, Black Beauty, the self-care mommy herself. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, come on, subscribe to the beauty gang. Let's do that. And if you are a returner, if you are a subscriber already, you already know, hearts out to you. I love you, I love you, I love you. So we're gonna hop right into the topic today. We are going to be talking about stress. We are gonna be talking about stress, how, you know, the symptoms, what stress looks like to a typical person and ways to work around stress. Because for me, I know I went through a whole two years of trying to learn myself. I went through two years of battling in and out of stress. And I can finally say that, you know, when it comes to stress, I have learned how to, not to say that I don't stress anymore, but I have learned how to recognize it I have learned how to communicate it. I have learned how to tackle my emotions. And another thing I do want to let you all know is that I am equipped to talk about this because when I was in college, I did take some sociology and psychology classes. With that being said, I was able to learn a lot about the human brain, the human body, how it reacts to things, you know, how, um, just how humans react to different situations in general so let's get right into the topic i did want to say y'all these lashes that i'm wearing they're my lashes that i am selling um i have a brand called the classy lash and look at them y'all aren't they cute they're full they're fluffy um they are human mink lashes i will get you all the description and all the information to my lash site by the end of the video but i just wanted to like show you all and broadcast these are my icy girl lashes <laughs> Class up for me. I love them. And I also, I sell individuals and I also sell like palettes that come with like five different types of lashes in it. So yeah, be on the lookout for that. What is stress? Okay. What is stress? I do have my journal. Y'all already know that I come equipped. I be prepared for y'all because I want to give y'all the real tea, the real spill. So stress is a state of worry or mental tension caused by difficult situations. So there are so many different situations that can stress you out. It can be minor or it can be major. It can be as minor as someone beeping a horn at you or it can be major as you losing your job, right? And even though those are two totally different situations, both can cause some sort of stress in some shape, way, or form. And the problem is we have to realize what what causes stress to us because something that may stress you out may not stress someone else out. So even when you think someone should not be stressed about a certain situation, you are not them and they are not you. That's why we're all different in life. You know, we are born our own person, even twins. They came out, they come out together, but they are born their own person. So we have to recognize that for one, everyone has their own brain, everyone has their own hearts, and everyone has their own set of emotions, right? I want to get a little bit more into stress and before I start going into the other topics because stress is major and honestly, it can be very fatal. It can be short term or it can be long term if we don't recognize it and know what to do, right? 
I have recognized, well, at least with me in the past, when I got stressed out, I more so went straight into anger, right? I went into anger, but some people go into sadness. Some people go revert into shyness. Some people revert into confusion. You know, there's a lot of different ways um, stress can come out in people and i noticed that mine's was definitely anger um and once you realize what stresses you out and what type of emotion that your body and your brain reacts to that situation that's when you will learn how to navigate through these things and these situations and these stressful times stressful people because people can be stressful too right but yeah, um, yeah, that's stress. It's the, the, all it is is just worry. When you're overwhelmed, you're worrying about stuff, and you're just mental. Your mental tension is just, just like compacting down on you. Just like, like you just feel like your whole body, everything is just running on its last course. Okay, let me take this bracelet off because can y'all hear me? One second. Let's go ahead and talk about how to tell or know when you're actually stressed out. Because another part of stress is not knowing that you're stressed out. Like you might just think you're irritated or something, but the whole time you're stressed out, right? A couple, a couple of emotions or a couple of feelings happen when someone is stressed out. Um, they're overwhelmed. You may become very anxious about everything and everyone. You may be uninterested in life and a lot of the things that you once enjoyed in life, you're just not enjoying it no more, you know, and that could also be you transitioning to a new level or a new stage in life. But, you know, that's also a sign of stress. You always feeling depressed or sad, unable to just enjoy yourself. Like even like in your alone time, you're just not enjoying it. When you're around people, you're not enjoying it. You know, you might like to paint. If you're painting, you're not enjoying painting. You're just not enjoying yourself in general. It's being angry and irritable about every little thing, you know, and it's normal for people to get irritated like every day or every other day, once a week, whatever the case may be for you. But if you find yourself being more angry and irritable than normal, you really may be stressed about something. And like I said, stress can be minor, it can be major, but you have to realize that you are stressed out so you can get the help and the support that you need to get through whatever stage that you're going through. Because I will tell you this, stress if being stressed too long, it's it starts to take a toll out on everything in your body. Stress is a trickling effect. And it starts from within. So we have to clean out our insides, y'all. We got to recognize and we got to act on it. It may not be as fast as you want to, but you want to start. You want to start recognizing what the source of the problem is. Right? When you know your stress, you know, you start to learn what you need to get yourself out of that point, right? You start to feel like your world is going backwards, you're stagnant, or you just lost a significant other, you just lost a family member, someone close to you, you lost your job. Y'all, this economy that we in right now, eggs are $10, I'm stressed out. Seriously, I'm stressed. Like, we are all stressed. We're all going through the same thing. Forget what you see on Instagram. Forget what you see on Twitter. Forget what you see on social media because people are not posting their real lives, right? They're not. We don't. I will say that everything that I go through, I do not post. And it's nothing wrong with that. It's nothing wrong with that. However, we forget that social media can also be a game. Social media are people's jobs. Social media are people's entertainment. That is what social media is for. But if you go and you go live with one of your favorite social media people for about a week, a month, you will see that there are real things going on, whether you're rich, not rich, middle class, whatever the case may be, everyone is going through something, especially in this capitalistic you know, country that we are in, that's what we live in. That's what we, you know, we ain't signed up for it. We were just born here, but that's just a part of our, that's a part of us now. And yeah, we just have to realize everyone is stressed about something. No one has a perfect life. You may think you're farther than someone in life because of their social media and 
it's not giving vibes, right? Mentally, we may all be in the same boat and not know. So let's, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to just, I'm not even going to speed it up. We're going to move into the next topic because the next topic is really important. After you know what stress is, you know what stress looks like. Now we're going to go into the symptoms of stress. Okay, so a lot of the symptoms of stress, um, and you may be thinking, oh, you know, I'm just changing. My body's just changing. No, baby, you're stressed out. Sorry to break it to you. You're stressed out. Some of the symptoms are stress of stress. I know for me, I'm not the type of person that gets a lot of headaches. So I knew that I was stressed out. I just kept getting these headaches every day. Every day, like I wasn't eating bad. Like I was drinking my water. I wasn't eating like a bunch of nonsense. I was eating my typical thing. But I noticed like I was so overwhelmed about the people around me and like the things that were actually going on or not happening in my life that I was just stressing myself into these major headaches. You know, headaches can cause a lot of fatal things aneurysms like all these different things can happen to your body because your body don't know what to do with the energy right poor gut health so when we're stressed out our body is in the inside of our body is just trying to figure out how to calm down i'm still trying to figure out what it, like is it a shock to the body is it an emotion i don't know you know and i think that's maybe something we'll never know but stress can take over and once your body is kind of locked in on the stress that's going on like it's a negative trickle effect like it starts to affect everything else because your body can't focus on digesting your food your body can't focus on pumping proper blood because it's trying to calm you down you got to help your inside so they they work in 24 hours we while we resting they got the night shift going on, okay? If you think we work hard, baby, the inside of our bodies are always working. Our lungs, the heart, the blood cells, they fighting stuff. Like, it's a lot going on. We got to help them out. We got to help them out. Like, we seriously do. You know, um, another symptom can be weight gain or weight loss, right? So if you're stressed out and you always eating, you just look up two months later and you done gained 15, 20 pounds, and then you ain't even really doing nothing but eating. Or you normally eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and then you find yourself like, I might snack here and there. Oh, I'm not really hungry, da, da 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 And you think you're going through something, baby. You're supposed to be eating every day. Breakfast wakes the body up. Lunch keeps the body going. And dinner, I mean, dinner is dinner. We got to eat dinner before we go to sleep. You know, don't want to go to sleep on a on an empty stomach. Hair loss is another one. You don't gain hair when you stress. If your edges start falling out, your hairline receiving, um, unless it's hereditary, especially if you're like in your, you know, your teenage years, your 20s. I mean, I know people do start losing hair in their 30s, so that might be hereditary. But like if you just naturally have like thick hair and then all of a sudden everything is just falling out. Let's go ahead and evaluate our lives. Figure out, you know, what possibly is going wrong with us mentally. Because for real, for real, things go wrong, but it's our mental state that keeps us in the wrong. Right? Right? But let me, I'm going to put that down here. It is your mental state that keeps you down it is because things can go wrong but things can shoot back up you gotta think the more you think down the more your life will go down it's a mental thing it's a trickle uh, it's a triple trickle effect okay um don't be stressing and every time you stress come back to this video okay like your skin like you notice when people say i don't know have y'all ever heard this but when people say your skin is glowing i can tell you're happy that's a real thing you know when you're the when you're depressed and stuff your skin like i told you it starts from within then it starts showing on the outside your skin um your breathing because it's just like your body can't focus on its regular function so it's literally trying to survive you put your body in survival mode by stressing so much and over over overthinking over worrying you put your body you are like 
I know you're trying to be funny. You're kind of like, if I'm being honest, you're killing yourself. And that's just me being completely honest. Because your body is so focused on whatever you're thinking about and overthinking about that it just does not have time to live. And it doesn't have time to protect you because the inside of our body protects us. We got to help. I'm going to say it again. We got to help our bodies. Fertility problems. You know, like if you're just overstressed for about five years, like you try to have a baby right after that. I mean, and that's that's. That's a slim possibility because some people get stressed out, have a baby, and then they have like this wonderful life after. But like, you know, that is something that can happen. You having, you know, fertility problems in the future. It starts to affect your immune system. Again, your, your white blood cells cannot fight off the things it needs to fight because it's busy trying to fight you. Literally. Fighting yourself. I really also want to um, get into um knowing when someone is stressed around you we have really become a society who acts like they don't care about no one and i don't like that i do think that if you see signs like this in the people around you even though it may be annoying for some people to deal with someone who's stressed i do feel like you should give it a shot and just let those people know that you do love them um give those people grace because you want to treat people how you would want to be treated right the people around you you know we can't always feel you know or connect with a certain emotion or situation that people are going through but we also have to realize that the people around us need us more than we think so even if they don't want to be around you you sending them quotes or letting them know hey i'm thinking about you like you never know what you can prevent or sending them you know a little fake little care package i mean you don't gotta go out and you know send them a, a purse or you know send them something extravagant but you know you sending them like something like a candle or something that you know they'll like that's very small just to let them know that you're thinking about them that goes a long way and you will never know like of course, in the past, when I felt like someone was stressed out or something, I would just cling on to them, like, try to help them, try to fix them as much as possible. But really, people really do need space to figure out their own emotions. And I had to learn that as well because I'm such a helper. I'm such a giver. But, you know, I have a special someone and I write them positive thoughts jar. Every time that person seems like they're stressed or out of it, I do these positive thoughts jar. I write some of their favorite quotes, you know, some of their favorite, you know, like um, artists, like musical artists, some of their like song lyrics and things like that. And that really helps. So try your best to help someone when their mental is not there. Don't give up on people. Don't give up on people. If you really love them, don't give up on them. Yeah, you know, just 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 be that light in their world if you can. It helps, trust me. Um, and even if they don't initially say it, they will always think about you when they were in those tough times. Now, let's get to the fun part because I feel like we've been down enough. We know what stress is. You know, we know what it looks like, um, what type of um, emotions come from stress. We know what, how it can affect us. Let's talk about reducing it. We're trying to beat stress at this point, okay? We want to live our best carefree lives. And even though it's going to come with some downs, it's going to come with some troubles, we want to make sure that ma majority of our days are as self-care as possible, as carefree as possible, right? I'm going to, you might want to get a little pen, a little pad, pull up your iPhone, get your notes section because it's going to be a really fun and good section. So my first tip when it comes to reducing stress <laughs> I did this. I actually have a gratitude journal that I will show you all at the end of the video. But find three things a day that you're grateful for, right? So I'm going to do it here with you now. Three things that I'm grateful for. Okay. <laughs> and it can be as small as this. I'm going to do the most simplest things. I'm grateful that I have a head full of hair. I'm grateful that someone on this earth actually loves me. And I'm grateful that I have this candle that smells so bomb. 
because I love a good scented candles and like if I can't light a candle like I'm so sad like I, I like candles almost every day if not every other day those are three things once you practice that every day and you're able to find like little things that you're grateful for even if you don't have these big things that you just so desperately desire that will also teach you how to be more appreciative about where you are in life and realize you have a lot of things that some people don't let's move on into our next tip be active when I say be active, I don't mean, I mean working out, of course, but I don't mean on the treadmill every day. I mean, be active. Go take a walk, um, get on the treadmill. If you like to work out, work out. Do a little dance break. Like if you feel yourself just like, like you just can't take it anymore, break out and dance. Even if you just shimmying, like, move your body in a positive way so that it can focus on something else rather than you being stressed get your butt up out that bed okay and do something active i'm not talking about going to get the remote to change the tv we're not talking about that <laughs> another tip that we want to do is ding 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 take care of your body drink your water eat your vegetables eat your fruit eat things that will put you in a positive mood um i know like when i eat lighter i have more energy but when i start eating heavy like i'm eating burgers and fries and all of that other stuff and it's i'm not telling you don't eat it but i'm telling you when you're stressed out try to keep your your eating habits very light because the good things that we put into our body like i told you y'all it's a trickle effect it helps bring out a different energy in us right so think about when you are eating meat you know initially we are eating something that was living so anything you know like that type of stuff is very transferable so when you eat things that come from the ground that grow y'all you will be surprised what it does to your insides you will be surprised what it does for your brain you will be surprised what it does for your skin ladies the booty listen let's get it together eat your beans eat your grains eat your oats eat your fruit eat your veggies okay take care of your body okay all right our next tip which was a great tip for me too inspiring music right when you are in a drought and you feel like your world's going down have those three to four artists that just make the most inspiring music and even if you just give it a week wake up in the morning make a playlist for your morning wake up in the morning and just listen to that music for a straight week i promise you I promise you that next week you will feel better. I dare you, actually. I dare you. And come back to this video and let me know if it helped out. Seriously, that that song playlist when you just make, you know, you just make that playlist specifically for you, whether it's gospel, whether it's just uplifting music, whether it's like level up music, whatever the case may be for you, make that playlist. And you know what I thought about when I made the playlist? Let me help future Black Beauty out because I know I'm not always gonna be all spunk and energetic. So I was like, let me help her out for success. Help yourself out for success, make that playlist. And I'm telling you, listen to it in the morning. And I even went as far as to make like a playlist for night. I listened to Janae Aiko's um, Soulful Child. I listen to that and I also listen to like rainfalls or like waterfall music just to like quiet my mind down and get me prepared for bed. So yeah, try that playlist. Let's move into the next tip. Um, Another one that will help you is taking deep breaths throughout the day. So if you notice that your body is getting very anxious, you notice you're getting very irritated, branch off somewhere and take deep breaths. Like what we did in the beginning, deep breaths in and deep breaths out that's a form of meditation even if you do that about three times you know five seconds in five seconds out if you can't hold your breath that long just do it what do what works best for you when it comes to the breathing because me i be taking long breaths i need it okay but if you want to take shorter if you want to take longer that's entirely up to you but take those deep breaths 
um breathing actually really helps the body as well we forget to breathe correctly we're always breathing of course we're alive but when you forget to take those deep breaths in and let it out you know like it something happens in your body i can't really explain to you you know i'm not too into all of that you know i didn't learn too much but i do know that taking deep breaths in and taking deep breaths out it does help alleviate something in your body go research it and then let me know because i don't know <laughs> this is a big one i have two more steps for you two more tips two more tips refrain from people refrain from people who bring out your negative qualities I mean those negative emotions that you're not trying to feel. If someone always makes you sad, if someone always makes you angry, if someone always makes you anxious, if someone always makes you feel unloved or unwanted, reframe. You don't need that right now. You already stressed out. And if, even if you like love them, like please try your best to just refrain from their energy. You're trying to get yourself together. You are helping you, you are not helping them. If it's a coworker, listen, ignore. Use your ignoring skills because of course, a coworker, you have to work with them. And just you try your best to use your ignoring skills or find, you know, like find another job, I don't know. Um, if it's your significant other, find a freaking hobby and get the heck out the house, okay? Um, yeah, you can do that, You can you can do that, right? You know, if it's a parent, if you live with the person, there's a certain way that you have to go about it because of course you don't want any negative energy, but you have to find a way to get away from them and still be around them. And that's hard. Like if you don't live with someone, it's easier said than done. But when you live with someone, like, I don't know if you want to just spend more time in your room, if you want to spend more time on the porch, you want to spend more time in your car, do something, dedicate some part of your day, dedicate some part of your day to yourself, by yourself, away from that person, if you live with them, dedicate some point, if it's on your way home and you got to take the longer route or, you know, it's too much tension, just make sure you do that, okay? Don't go starting stuff either because you know you might be the problem, but we don't know. I don't know your situation. I don't know. And lastly, for our final tip is going to be make time for your loved ones. Those people you know love you, you know support you, you know got your back. Even if you feel like everything is going downhill, you feel like no one loves you, you know for a fact that someone out there loves you, right? Make time for them. Tell them how you feel. Connect with them. Even if it's hard to express your emotions, express something to them to let them know, listen, I'm not okay. Be vocal about it. You know, get therapy. Get therapy. But yeah, when it comes to your loved ones, make time with them. Even if you just tell them, listen, I don't have the energy to, you know, be all goofy with you today or do that. I just want to be around somebody that loves me. That's all I need. If you just want to watch a movie with them, you want to go around them and write in a journal or something, like, be around them. I mean, I'm not forcing you to do it every day, but just make some time because as humans, we all need that one-on-one -on -one connection. And that is going to conclude my video. It was a little lengthy today, but I feel like it was very much needed. And I've been wanting to talk about this topic for so long. Um, because I feel like, like I said, that I'm finally at the point where I have learned how to navigate through stress, you know? And I want that for you all. I want that for my beauty gang. I want that for my subscribers. And again, I just want to thank you all for tuning into my video. If you watch all the way through, I really hope these tips helped you. I love y'all so much. And that is going to conclude it. For the lashes, I do want to let you all know that I am launching really soon the Classy Lash. I'm also going to be doing a review on the lashes that I do have on my face. These are the Icy Girl Lashes. And I will be coming out with a video on my lashes, so stay tuned to that. Other than that, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. Like I always do, I love y'all and have a good night, have a good morning or a good rest of your day, whatever time of the day you're watching. Love you, bye.